Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we've got another little freebie for you today. We're using the Supreme Modules Lite plugin, which is absolutely free, and we're going to create this little services list. One of the modules you get with it is an icon list. And these are great for things like services section or contact sections with telephones and fax numbers, etc. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. And I'm going to go down and simply delete this row here. Green module for a row, blue for a section, dark for an actual module. So let's get rid of this row. We'll start again. Now I'm going to add a new row, the little green button. I'm going to give it three columns. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add the Supreme modules light, you get another 20 or so of these modules in blue here. And there's some great additions here for free modules. There really are. And here's some more regular Divi ones. If you're using WooCommerce, you also get another dozen Divi modules to help display your products. So today I'm looking for the icon list. There it is right there. And let's add a new item. Okay, give it a name. Whatever you want your whatever you want your first list item to say. And choose an appropriate icon. Great. If you want to give your icon a link all of these can link to separate pages just down below the icons here you've got the link box just put the URL in there linking to your own site keep it in the same window best practice if you're linking off site to somebody else's site put it in a new tab so yours stays open you can give it a background here if you want to you've got color let's just put one in so you can see what's going on you've got color gradient image or video if you prefer I'm going to leave mine without. I just wanted to put that in there so we could see what's going, how much space it's actually taking up here. So I'm going to leave that there. We'll take it away in a little while. Let's move on to our design. Now the icon. I'm actually going to make that white. I'm going to make, give it a blue background. And let's give it a bit of padding. So it's got some breathing space all around. And let's make it a reasonable size. Something like that works for me. But I actually want that sort of blue feel to be rounded. So just down below, we've got icon rounded corners. I'm going to give it 50 picks. Just put in the 50. It'll put in the picks for you. And as long as you've got this little chain highlighted, it'll do all four at once. And we've got a little round one there. That's great. You can give it a border on the outside if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just like that. If you do use a border, you can set your border width and color and everything here. Let's move on to the text. Well, I want it to be bigger. I want it to be slightly further away from our icon than that. So the text indent I'm going to pull up. Divi as standard comes with a fantastic amount of fonts. There's a huge amount here, there really is. And to audition one, just hover over it. It'll give you an example of what that font looks like. I'm going to stick with the default today. Font weight, I'm going to make it semi-bold. And let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to leave it the color it is. Of course, you can choose your color here. And like any Divi color palette, hit the little dots. You've got more colors to choose from here. And you can go back and look at recent and you can save colors. Let's make this text a lot bigger. Let's make it say 20. Great, that'll work. Letter spacing and line height, I'm going to leave just as they are. But I do want to add a little padding on the bottom purely for when we add our next item, so there'll be a bit of separation. So if we roll down to spacing, 
I'm going to give it say 10 pixel on the bottom and as you can see from the yellow there that's giving it more space on the bottom so let's go back and take that background color away and what I'm simply going to do is duplicate this five times so we've got six of them just save this and we're back in our main module here I'm going to duplicate this five times so we've got six of them and I'm simply going to go in and I'm going to change the icon and the content on each one I'll pause the videos while I'm doing this because there's no point you watching me all I'm going to do is change the text and choose a different icon okay well I've just put my last one in there as you can see I've changed the icons here and if you wanted to you could make it a different color when you hover over it let's just go into our design here I'm going to go to the icon here's the icon background color how about we make it red when we hover over it to do that and this is common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing here you'll see some icons appear if there's an arrow it's going to allow us to create a hover state and a regular state. Regular desktop state is when the mouse is not on it. Hover state is when the mouse is on it. So let's make it red when the mouse is on it and blue when it's not. Now the time it takes to change from the red to blue by default with Divi is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick. If you want to slow it down you can do it in the advanced down to transitions. There's the 300 default. If you want to slow it down for a bit more drama just pull it up or type in a value. Don't want any delay, I want it to happen as soon as we roll over it. For my hover effects I tend to like to use the ease in and ease out. But that's entirely up to you. All of these are slightly different in some situations, they'll work better than others. But my go to for hover effects is usually ease in and ease out. Now to save us going through each of these to do it we save the changes and go back here this was our last one we can extend the item styles let's extend them to this column hit extend and there we have it we've now got a red on hover on all of these okay so there's our list basically let's just save this and like I say, this is great for if next to a Google map or a contact form if you've got a telephone number, address, fax, email, etc. like that. But it's nice to split it up too um, for little services stuff. And the easiest way to do this once we've got a long list is simply just to clone it, hit the two little boxes, pull it over to where you want it to go. I'm going to do the same again. I'm simply going to delete the ones we don't want in each list. So this one I'm going to have top two. This one I'm going to have the middle two. And this one will have the last two. But of course this is entirely up to you. There's various different ways of displaying it, whatever works for you. So let's save our changes and see what we've got on the front end. Hit the little purple button, save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we go. There's our little icon list. If we hover over, it's going to change color in half a second. I haven't got any links, but of course you could have these linking to service pages or wherever you want. So there it is, guys. There's a nice little free icon list module available with the Divi Supreme Lite. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.